Hello, and welcome back to English with Gemma, where we turn English practice into progress. Today, we have a really fun episode. Um, it's a little bit different, and I'm just going to jump right into it. It is called Why Your Brain Thinks Life is a Netflix Show. So do you ever kind of feel like you're living in a movie or you kind of think about things as if it's like a TV series? I definitely do. I'm a very dramatic person. I studied theater and performance in university. So I'm always kind of romanticizing life and yeah, sometimes trying to make it a little bit more interesting, I guess. So today we're going to be talking about something your brain does every single day without you realizing it. It's called event segmentation. Okay, so <laughs> that might sound a little bit too scientific for you. Um, let's call it what it feels like, which is kind of your brain turning life into a binge-worthy TV show. So previously on your life, you woke up, debated snoozing your alarm, brushed your teeth while questioning your existence, and then boom, suddenly you're at work. But wait, how did you get there? Did your morning commute even happen? If you feel like your life is a badly edited montage, don't worry, you're not glitching. Scientists at Columbia University just figured out why our brains do this. So your mind actually automatically divides your day into separate scenes, kind of like how Netflix splits a show into episodes. This is why you remember key moments, like that awkward thing you said in a work meeting, but not the 20 minutes you spent scrolling on your phone before bed. So let's talk a little bit about your brain's editing room. How does this actually work? Basically, your brain's prefrontal cortex is like the TV director, deciding where each scene in your day should begin and end. And guess what? It's a terrible continuity editor. Continuity is something that's really important when people are shooting um, a TV series or a movie. And there are actually people whose entire jobs it is to make sure that continuity is making sense. So for example, what do I mean by continuity? If an actor is really sweaty in one scene, then the continuity director will come in between um, cuts and actually spray water in the exact same places on the actor so that the sweat, the fake sweat, uh, looks the same in every single take. That is what continuity is. And in sometimes in movies, you might notice like if it's not well edited, um, for example, the actor's hair might move a little bit or their clothes might look a little bit different um, or their sweat stains won't be in the same place all the time. So that's when you have like bad continuity in films and you can notice that. I always notice stuff like that because I'm always kind of like paying really special attention to things like that in movies. So Basically, your brain is not great at continuity sometimes. So, for example, like, have you ever walked into a room and you completely forget why? Like, so I do it all the time. I'll be looking for my hairbrush or something. And then I walk into the bathroom and I'm like, why am I here? What, what did I come here for? And I try so hard to, for to remember, but I can't. That's because my brain just ended an episode and started a new one. So it's like, sorry, buddy, the last script is gone. But why does that actually happen? Well, scientists think it's because your brain is trying to make sense of way too much information. Instead of recording everything, it highlights only the important stuff, kind of like a previously on recap of a show. Uh, you know, our brains have so much information all the time that this is kind of why this happens. It's like, too much information, information overload. So sometimes we just totally forget like what we're doing. Um, so in our next section, we're going to talk a little bit about how to hack your brain's editing style. So if you don't want your life to feel like a fast forwarded documentary and kind of forget sections of what's going on, 
there are ways to hack your brain's event segmentation skills. So the first one is to do new things. Your brain makes way more scene cuts when there are exciting or different things happening. Ever notice how time always feels much longer when you're on vacation and you're doing new things? You feel like the days are longer. You have so much time to do stuff. That's basically because your brain is actually paying attention to everything instead of just going on autopilot. You know, our days are very mundane sometimes. And that's why we kind of like zone out when we're driving to work or we zone out when we're cooking breakfast because, you know, our brain, we're just doing things on autopilot a lot of the time. So yeah, trying new things, maybe doing some meditation, becoming more present, that's going to help you stop feeling like you're just living life on autopilot. Um, The next skill is a little bit funny. It's give your episodes a name. No, seriously, if you label your tasks mentally, like calling your work session Mission Impossible or your grocery run Fast and Furious Milk Run, it's stupid, but your brain is more likely to remember what's going on, like pay more attention to what you're doing and and give things a name. Also, my last uh, skill or tip is using weird memory tricks. So studies show that if you talk to yourself while doing something, I do this all the time. I'm I talk to myself a lot. Don't judge me. It's just something I do. Like when you live, I don't live alone. I have a roommate, but you know, sometimes she's not here. When you live alone, you end up talking to yourself a lot. I just I think out loud. I'm not like weirdly talking to myself like, "Hi, Gemma, what are we going to do today?" I'm not crazy, okay? <laughs> I just talk to myself. I think out loud. I'll say like, oh, what do I need to do today? Or, okay, what am I doing? I'm going to do this. Like, I just kind of like talk through what I'm doing sometimes. That's actually a really good tip. If you're trying to improve your English, talk out loud, narrate your day like a scene. Okay, right now I'm cooking breakfast. Later, I need to go to the store. Just like say things out loud. That's going to help you practice speaking and help you improve your English. So when you talk to yourself out loud while doing something, you are actually more likely to remember it. So if you ever lose your keys, just yell, I'm putting my keys in the fridge or obviously you're not putting your keys in the fridge, but you know, when you put your keys down somewhere, I'm putting my keys on the table. So you are telling your brain like, okay, remember this, please. This is where I'm putting my keys. Um, When our brains get things really wrong, that's my next segment. This happens a lot. So this is where things get a little bit weird. Sometimes your your brain mislabels an event or even forgets an entire chapter of your day. This is called boundary failure. And it's the reason why you might completely forget driving home because your brain just like skipped the filler episode um, because it was boring. So if you think that's bad, wait until you hear about false memories. Scientists say that sometimes your brain invents details to make a story flow better. So have you ever sworn that you had a conversation with someone that never actually happened? Yeah, that's your brain adding deleted scenes that were never filmed in your life movie. So yeah, this happens sometimes. Like I often can't remember if I had a conversation with somebody or if it was in one of my dreams. Um, And yeah, our brain sometimes just does that weird thing where we kind of uh, make things up in our brains. So final thoughts. Um, I think neuroscience, the study of the brain and how it works is super fascinating. It's something I'm really interested in in my free time. I love to read about this kind of stuff. So yeah, we kind of talked in a funny way about what's called event segmentation. And we used the analogy of a Netflix show or some type of movie to help us kind of make sense of why this happens. So your brain is basically like a chaotic film director trying to turn your life into a highlight reel. Um, You know, so this is kind of fun because if you want to make your life feel longer or time feel longer, add some plot twists, do some new things. Do you want to remember important things? narrate your life out loud like a sitcom character and if you ever walk into a room and forget why just accept it the last episode ended and the new one has terrible continuity we forgot what we were doing 
and that's very normal. So that is all on today's episode. I hope you found this interesting. It's something a little bit different. Um, And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and keep living your best movie life. And if your brain feels a little bit weird sometimes, just remember that it's totally normal. It happens to all of us and you're not going crazy. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.